Hello everyone, welcome to Best Side Cycling. It is now pretty much frozen over Seattle. I think this was the coldest morning we've had in decades. And yeah, uh, just uh, I wanted to show you my priority belt drive bike, but on the way I saw this really cool frozen pond. So yeah, you can just sort of see it here with the bike in the background, just everything that's going on. But yeah, let's go to a, a nicer spot and then I'll show you all about this bike I have in front of me that is maybe the real winter option uh, in terms of cycling. So let's go. So I found this nice little spot along this pipeline trail near where I live. It's a <laughs> really chill gravel. You can see all the ice all around. It's luckily not too slippy, but yeah, for today's video, I decided to introduce you to one of my other bikes, probably one of my most, uh, the bikes I use for the most rugged conditions, such as this. And this is the Priority Continuum Onyx. It's a hybrid belt drive bike that I got from Cascade and Priority Bicycle uh, that I've linked in the previous video. Um, yeah, they had some sort of event going on and then they pass this on to me afterwards and yeah I definitely have been using it uh, for a lot of the reasons the main being the belt drive. Uh, this belt drive right here is super duper quiet when riding. But more important than that it's super low maintenance and uh, yeah, it doesn't get affected by salt, water, or anything like that. So right now, just the other day when I was riding with it, uh, definitely I felt pretty good not having to worry about rusting this belt. And then in terms of how it works is that it has this big Enviolo hub here. So definitely a lot bigger than usual. Uh, but how that works is that it actually leads up to this uh, gear shifter here, which is a continuous sort of uh, gear ratio. So uh, you can see there's a guy that's sort of like changing, uh, that's going on a hill. And then when you slide it down, it emulates him going on the flat and that makes it harder. So you want to sort of uh, match the terrain that you're on. And yeah, it's pretty neat because you'll always be able to find the perfect cadence. Though I would say that uh, it does feel like it has a little bit of resistance when riding it. And the other thing that causes a little bit resistance is also the front hub. There is a dynamo on this bike, so it's pretty cool you get a front light there and the front light also has uh, a USB plug at the back for all your own little accessories. Oh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's, a, yeah, just right here behind this plug, you get a micro USB and as well as here in the back, there is also a flashing light. And of course, with any sort of winter bike, you'll need it to have fenders and a rack. So the fenders came with the bike, but then the rack I have included with this one is also the same I showed in just my previous video. It's the rack time added. So it's the exact same rack they saw just there as well as the exact same trunk bag. So that way it's really easy to set up. And one of my most common configurations is putting on this big rack time basket. It, use it to carry all sorts of different things and it's just a quick click to take on and off. And then you'll notice that this middle part is also super like my other bike with now the folding lock there in place. You can sort of see what that actually looks like. And then as well, it comes with a kickstand that's super helpful for when you're loading groceries and everything with the typical sort of hybrid bike and then the tires that come with it. I actually haven't remember looked at it super closely, but it looks like there's some uh, Goodyear Transit Tours and I, they're size 35s. And yeah, I roll all the time with these in the flat pedals and uh, there I have the Garmin bike computer. And the only other thing I think I've done with this bike is that I put in my own sort of grips here, uh, sort of upgrade over these stock ones. And yeah, and these run with uh, hydraulic brakes here. Um, I think I was told like they're sort of, it's their own brand, they call it 174 Hudson, but I heard they're pretty similar in performance to Tektro ones, which are pretty well proven. Overall, so what I use this bike for is definitely for all the hard conditions, pouring rain or when it's freezing cold right now, because basically I don't have to worry about any of the maintenance if it gets all wet 
Plus, uh, right now there's a ton of salt on the ground. So even with that, the belt does just fine and you don't have to think about it whatsoever. Uh, its main downside is definitely its, its heavy weight and some of those resistance from all the different hubs I, it's, and its upright position. All those sort of lead uh, for me to not use it on the longer rides because I already have my road bike that I'm super comfortable with. So that's sort of the main trade off there. But if you're looking for sort of something in, more in the city where distances aren't nearly as far, something that is really durable, easy to work with, uh, this is definitely uh, your type of bike. So yeah, I'm really glad that I have it because it just gives me a, a way to just get out no matter uh, the elements. So let me know what you think of this bike. Uh, <laughs> I have more and more of them to show you. So yeah, let me know what you think and I'll see you all in the next one.